Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back with some good news. That is a V8 from Toy and Engine. So there's a lot of other updates here on the page, and uh, I'll go down through it. I just was out shoveling snow, and I came in to check some of my emails, and I kind of ran across some of this stuff. And uh, so let's get to it, and I'll show you what all the new updates are. Okay, everybody, save your lunch money because we got some exciting stuff coming up here. Um, I just happened to stumble on and check out Sterling Kids page to see what was going on. And they have their new V8 engine up here that's supposed to be coming out this year. Um, they don't give a lot of detail on it, but it looks like it's going to be a dual overhead cam V8. This back there looks like it's a distributor to me, but... Uh, I don't know. We'll see what it is. Um, I don't know what size it's going to be or anything like that. Um, but if you get on the Sterling Kit page, you'll be able to find it on there. Now, uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, now, the X-Power Sand Cruiser, which I just did one on. They have, um, they're planning on making new adapters for different engines for the, the chassis. Because my first thought was... Um, you know, I wasn't going to put the, the V8 in it, but I was going to put an L400 in it. And, uh, so we'll, uh, we'll see there. Because now they're making the adapter kits to, uh, put the engines in. There's the L200, which we already know it comes with that. They have one for the Toyin V4, which was one of my second thoughts on putting in there. And the new L400 that they have there. Now, if you read down here, you know, everybody's going to say, oh, no, not the L400 again. You know, it's like, geez, that thing's a disaster. But it's not because they've been working on this engine. And this is what they're saying here. Uh, it will have a new gasoline version in the future with an independent lubrication system. It will be upgraded too. So I don't know. What's going on down below here, but I don't know if they're going to put a center bearing in it or not. Um, we'll see. Now, the new single cylinder, it's going to be an FSS 100BX. Um, it has a more realistic look on the outside of the engine. Uh, looks like they changed the head configuration a little bit there. And they added some toy and engine stuff on there, too. And uh, kind of a little fan thing. like and It looks like an engine cover. So... That's pretty cool for the, the single cylinder guys. So, like I say, I'm excited about the new gasoline version of the um, L400. And I'll probably end up buying all the adapter kits for all the, uh, the Sand Cruiser engines to try them out. I'll have to contact them. But the V8 I'm most excited about. Um, it looks like... I've seen in the background um, on different on different websites here. There's one of these setting in the background. It's a dual overhead cam engine, and nothing's ever mentioned about it. Um, it's not the Torian one, but uh, I believe it's a Sisson V8. So I don't know. I don't know if we got competition going on here or not. Now, let you guys uh, chew on that for a while. Uh, like, share, subscribe on that. You know what I mean? Get the word out there. Um, like I say, I, I think the 2022 is going to be a great year for um, engines, conversions, and everything else. I think with the pandemic, everybody got kind of locked up and, you know, come up and they had, they had time to make some new ideas, you know. So we'll see how that goes on, on the... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that they're going to run the L400 cylinder head on both sides with a different camshaft and uh, then come up with their own block on the thing. Hopefully it has main bearings in the thing, you know, like to keep it going. So now speaking of the new Sisson engine, this one here, the flathead, there's been a lot of questions about this because I already ordered one. And um, if you read down here, you see there's a cigarette, you know, it's not very long. Um, if you read down here, uh, we're almost there. They show all different parts and stuff here. 
it says here the crankshaft is very difficult to machine and this part costs a lot of money it says however in order to avoid the situation of the toyin shaft breaking front and rear bearings and an intermediate bearing bushes are used so what they're going to do is they're going to put a center bearing in this and if you look at the picture on here it looks like they have machined a lot of stuff here now these here are thinner that's thicker so I'm thinking the center bearing is going to go in there and they're going to have the uh, the outside you know ball bearing roller bearings on the outside so we'll have a bush center in it so they're learning they're picking up on this stuff so but like I say you know food for thought save your money see what's going to go on um, it's going to be a lot of uh, changes I think in the upcoming year um, I would like I say I was really excited about the V8 and the adapter kits for uh, the Sand Cruiser you know like I say it's it, you know they have a super nice um, upgraded clutch on these things and them clutches are all interchangeable with you know all these engines so I think we're, we're gonna I think the clutch problems eliminated on the on the uh, centrifugal clutches but um, but we'll see you know what I mean we'll see but I'm excited about the gasoline version of this the reason I bought the Sisson is because it's a gasoline version you know I mean I converted mine um, over to um, I had gasoline running through this with an ignition system, but the uh, the the CDI died, so I'm kind of in between things. And then I got the Sand Cruiser. I paid for that, and then I got the um, the FL4175 system four cylinder. So it kind of took took all my money, but for now, I think it's going to be a great time in RC. So, let's see, I wanted to go over this too. I give you guys the dimensions of the Sisson four cylinder 83 millimeters by 43 millimeters by 96 millimeters. So, I don't know if it comes to the back of the case or if it's just if that's an add on back there for the clutch bell. But, uh, you know, you'll be able to kind of get an idea of that too. So, for those of you who are looking for those. But, like I say, it is what it is. And,. I think the, the world's exploding with uh, great ideas here. So, like I say, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, share the information on everybody else. So, you guys have a good one, man. I'm going to go out, finish shoveling, and I'm going to see if I can make some room to take the Sand Cruiser out, even with no body, and get a good run on the thing. And I will have some more updates on the Sand Cruiser um, on the front panhard bar and a couple other things there i did notice too and i'll be back with another video with that and uh like you say it's this is all early into the stages of something that's going to be great down the road for all of us and uh as long as they make everything affordable so okay guys take care and i'll catch you later man adios